At ayun na nga guys, isang magandang balita dahil nagkaroon ng memorandum of agreement o kasanduan ng LTU at TESDA upang mas mapalawak pa ang pagbibigay ng edukasyon sa mga driver para sa mga gustong kumuha ng bagong lisensya. Nakapaloob sa agreement na ito, nakikilalani na ng LTO ang mga driving certificate na manggagaling sa mga TESDA training centers. Matatanda ang dati, hindi ino-honor ng LTO ang mga driving certificate galing sa TESDA at kinakailangan pa natin kumuha ng panibagong driving courses sa mga LTO accredited driving schools. Pero ngayon, i-honor na raw nila yan. At ngayon, inaatasan ang lahat ng TESDA accredited institutions at mga training centers na i-incorporate ang kanilang curriculum modules according dun sa guidelines ng LTO para sa TDC or Theoretical Driving Course at PDC or Practical Driving Course. Hindi lang malinaw ngayon kung libre ba o mura ba ang magiging driving courses sa mga TESDA institutions at training centers. Hindi pa malinaw kung tatanggapin ba ng LTO ang mga dating driving certificate galing sa TESDA. Malamang hindi dahil baka hindi papasok sa guidelines ng LTO ang mga dating curriculum sa TESDA. This important moment of this event, the memorandum of agreement signing between Land Transportation Office and Technical Education and Skills Development Authority. Signing on behalf of LTO is no other than Asset Galvante to be witnessed by the Executive Director, Attorney Ronnie G. Guerra Cruz, and signing on behalf of TESDA is is Secretary La Peña to be witnessed by Deputy Director General Lina C. Sarmiento. Allow me to read the duties and responsibilities of both agencies as stated in the MOA. The LTO shall enroll in the LTO system all TESDA technology institutions with unified Tibet program registration accredit accreditation system. Accredit all TESDA technical vocational institutions with unified Tibet program registration accreditation system. Recognize TESDA driving NC2 as equivalent of practical driving course TDC for non-professional driver's license with restriction code 2 or driver's license code B, B1, B2 as in reference to the supplemental IRR of Republic Act 10930. Recognize TESDA driving NC3 as equivalent of practical driving course PDC for professional driver's license and or additional restriction code 3, 8 or driver's license code C or CE. Submit a list of annual LTO trainers employees to undergo TESDA training programs. On the other hand, the TESDA shall incorporate the driving lessons and modules of LTO theoretical and practical driving course as part of the curricula of driving NC2 and 3 to conform with the relevant guidelines. Issue theoretical driving course TDC certificate after completion of TDC learning outcomes incorporated in driving NC2 and 3 and require training to secure a student driver's permit before proceeding to the practical driving course. Require all the TESDA accredited TESDA technology institutions, register driving NC2 and NC3 training programs to comply with the requirements and qualifications of LTO for accreditation as private driving school pursuant to EO248 and Memorandum 2019-2176. Also provide LTO with a list of registered TESDA technology institutions and TBIs with Unified Tibet Program Registration Accreditation System, Registered Driving NC2-3 Training Programs. Fifth, allocate training scholarships to LTO trainers, employees per year. Now that both parties have signed the MOA, I would like to invite them for a photo opportunity. Agency. 
So ang mga nabanggit na driving courses ay ang NC2 at NC3. Ang mga driving courses na yan ay para sa pagdadrive ng 4 wheels pataas. So hindi pa malinaw kung sakop din ng mga driving courses ang para sa motor siklo. Pero okay na rin dahil marami naman ang mga test institutions at mga training centers sa buong Pilipinas. Git na mas makikinabang ang mga nasa probinsya dahil napakamahal ng mga driving courses dyan. Masa na lang tayo na mas lalawak pa ang mga servisyo ng TESDA para sa mga gustong kumuha ng lisensya.